Hi guys and welcome to today's tutorial where I'll be showing you in Euro Truck Simulator 2 a number of very useful commands for the console. Now we're going to be going over free camera, teleportation, simulation speed of the game, changing the times and changing the weather. Now these are actually my favourite ones, I think they're very very useful. So we'll start with the free camera. Now if you've enabled your console, which you need to do otherwise you can't do any of these commands, uh, well, actually, if you don't even know what the console is or what I'm even talking about, go ahead and watch this video. I'll put an annotation on the screen right now. So if you have no idea, go and click on that and have a, have a look and then come back to this video. Okay, so I'm assuming most of you have enabled the console so you can do these commands. So the first one is the camera. Now, you know when you enable the console, you get the free camera by pressing zero. And then on your number keypad on the right hand side of the keypad, keyboard even, you can move around like this. Now, this is a very useful command that you can do to change the speed. And what's known in the config file as the fly speed, which is the speed right now. So I'm using, I think I'm using 50 right now. And it's quite good. You know, it's not too fast, not too slow. But let's say in this case, it's way too fast. So we're going to change that by commanding the console to change the fly speed in the game without going outside. So we're going to hit the tilde key, which is the key in the top left corner, just under escape, just above tab, and next to the number 1. So pressing that will open the console like this. So we press that. All we have to do is press G underscore fly speed. And because I said mine's already on 50, and I thought, personally, it's too fast. Um, uh, yeah, let's change it to 10. 10 will work well. So we, after fly speed, we're going to put a space, and then 10. And hit enter. And then press the till key again to get rid of the console. And now you can see it's a lot, lot slower than 50. But for me, this is way too, way too slow. But, you know, you can get a lot of good, you know... Um, like details for photos and stuff whereas if you're on say 100 fly speed you'll just be flying around and you couldn't get close up to anything because you keep missing it so yeah that's a very useful one and most of you should know this but with the free camera you can teleport by hitting F9 just like that so pressing 0 moving around uh, let's try and land on this roof it might, it might not be a solid model, so you might fall through, but you'll get the idea. So, F9. No, it's not a solid model. Oh, that's cool. We're in a car showroom. It's the new flatline Scania. <laughs> oh. So, yeah, right, I'm going to get out of here because that doesn't look good at all. Okay, right, the next teleportation. Let's, let's move on. So, the next teleportation key is if you want to, this is great for map editors, and uh, I'll be covering a lot of this in my uh, map making tutorial videos as well. But uh, this is for some people who, I'm guilty, I've done it a couple of times, if I'm very late for a delivery, I might just quickly teleport to the, the city that, you know, that needs the delivery, so I can get in there and get my bonuses and everything. But, you know, I you shouldn't really do that, because... Oh, it takes, you know, what's the point of driving if you can just teleport everywhere? So I've only done it a couple of times. I barely ever do it, I promise. So, to teleport to a big city, all you have to do, again, is hit the tilde key to open up the console. And hit, now you don't need any, like, technical terms. It's really easy. Just go to, and then the city name. So, for example, I'm going to go to, let's go to Holland. Let's go to Amsterdam. So, Amsterdam. And then the console will send us right there, like this. So I'm just going to hit the tilde key again to get rid of the console. And then I'm in my free camera mode in Amsterdam. The fly speed is really slow, again. So, yeah, I won't explore this city very much. Right, but let's say I want to get back, so I just hit 1. And I'm back. I'm Where am I, actually? I'm in Poznan. Right, so I'm back here. Okay, so that's the teleportation tool covered. So it's just go to and then the city name. Very simple and easy to remember. Okay, now this one, 
the simulation speed. Now this one's really good. I only found out about this one recently, but it's actually a really cool tool. So stuck in the services like I am now, it won't work very well because there's not a load of changes apart from the trees and a bit of traffic. Uh, so we're just going to go on. We're going to use the free camera and find. Oh, this will work well actually. There's lots of traffic. So. To change the simulation speed, we're going to hit the Till key to open up the console again and type in warp. Now, the default is 1. So, let's say we want half of that. So, we're just going to put 0 0.5. And now you see these lorries and cars coming out. I hit that and it slows them right down to a really, really slower speed. To speed this up, um, I'm going to use an example of 20 so warp 20 and you'll see everything goes ridiculously fast I haven't actually tried driving like this yet but I imagine it's a right pain a realistic uh, you know this is a common question a realistic warp is I would say 0.7 or 0.8 you know it slows it down so it's a little bit more realistic so yeah this this is actually a, like a really cool tool uh, I'll show you the weather. Uh, that will that should work. Okay, so I'm just going to do it just to show you the changes in the weather. So, 200. You can see all the trees moving. Doesn't actually seem to be that faster than 20. Maybe there's a limit of just 20 or something. But yeah, you get the idea. You can see the sun moving over all the buildings and everything. So yeah, that's quite a nice little tool that. They'll be great for video makers as well, like time lapse videos and stuff. So, I'm just going to hit warp. If you want it back, just put one, and then you'll be back to normal. Let's move on to changing the time. Now this one is quite simple, but there's, you know, I, I always forget it for some reason. I shouldn't, because it's only three words. For some reason, I have no idea why, I'm not happy with this weather. So... Let's hit the till key to open up the console, and we're going to hit G underscore set time, and then, uh, right, let's give you an example. For 6 o'clock in the morning, it would just be 6, like that. So the sun's just coming up, 6 o'clock in the morning. Let's go 6 o'clock at night. So remember, on this, we're using the 24-hour clock, so that'll be 18 1800 but we just have to put 18 so G set time 18 and then that'll be in the evening but I normally just go for say 12 o'clock um, oh, I need to sleep so 12 o'clock just gets you right in the middle of the day best time of the day for me and in the mornings with the new weather Okay, so changing the weather. Now this one's a little bit more confusing and I'm, to be honest with you guys, I'm still a bit unsure about it. But this is what I've gathered so far. Now, when you open up the console, to change the weather, you just have to G set underscore weather and then space. Now you either put one or zero. Now, the odd numbers seem to be rain and the even numbers seem to be like sunny and nice and warm. Okay, so like I said, the odd numbers. So we just put in G underscore set underscore weather one. So one triggers it to be raining. Um, so I'm going to put two in now to show you that even numbers for some reason make it sunny. So we're going to do the same again. G underscore set underscore weather two. And now it's nice nice weather again thanks for watching this video if you enjoyed it or i helped you out be sure to give it a like and uh yeah thanks for watching